You begin to set up your Arrowhawk drawdown camera by first going into the Mission Planner app. Once you have it open, go ahead and connect your flight control module from the Arrowhawk Hawk. Make sure it's plugged into the computer and wait for it to boot up. Once you hear that tone, you should be able to find it here. It usually pops up as a COM number, like COM3, COM2, COM5. So you click on COM3 and press connect. This doesn't always work the first time, but by the third try, you should be able to get it. There we go. After it's got all your parameters, you will have a screen here, and this is the first screen called the flight data. Here you will be able to see the drone's pitch and angle and roll. And you will also be able to see other information from different displays. But anyways, you're going to want to go into the flight plan tab and zoom in on the area you would like to survey. You would want to go to a corner of your of the land you want to survey and hover over draw polygon and then click add polygon point. This just tells you that you're going to remain in polygon mode until you get out of it. So you have one point here. And let's say you want to survey this whole field right here. And you'd left click on the other corner and then down here over here and you're all set now you can right click again and go down to auto waypoints here you'll go over and click survey grid here it shows you a, um, a yellow path of where the, the hawk will fly up here you would normally choose your camera but we don't have the camera set up yet we will show you another video on how to set up your camera but you want to make sure you have your altitude at 120 meters because that is the drone ceiling for flight you also want to have all these boxes checked except for use RTL and you want to go and look down here at this data and it'll tell you how much pictures and your flight time. You want your flight time to be less than what your drone can fly with a full battery. You also want every every photo to be taken with an excess of five seconds. So there will be five seconds intervals between each photo because that's um, the photos take a while to save to the SD cards. You will now want to hover to the center of the area you want to survey. Here you will want to enter another waypoint and you will want to make it after the first waypoint which is a takeoff waypoint. So after it takes off it will head here. Here since it's the second waypoint as you can see with the little arrow we're going to change we're going to change it to a loiter turns using this arrow change it to a loiter turns and we'll want to have it make one whole turn to try to reach the target height of 120 meters. Now you will, after this, you can you will want to scroll down and look at your last waypoint. So your last waypoint is a land waypoint and it's number 65. That's the one you want to have at the very end. So you you can go here and you'll see that it's the 64th waypoint that's right before the land one. So you will want to. If you're going to want to have a runway for your drone to land autonomously, you will look at where you launched it. And let's say you launched it right here at the top left. If you're, going to, if you're going to drive here and launch it from this spot, you will want to go a little farther out and right click and enter waypoint. You will want to have this waypoint right before the last waypoint, so we'll make it after the 64th waypoint. Press OK. And he, once you've added that, it's going to pop up right under here and it'll be number 65. You'll want to make this to one third, one third of the height down. So from 120, you'll want to go to 80 meters. 
and then you'll want to answer another one so that the plane descends and lands pretty well so you want to answer another one after that one and after the 65th here you will want to make it go to 40 40 meters in the in its altitude make sure there's enough distance between these two so you might want to move this one a little bit and then in the end you will have a land waypoint next you will want to make sure this verify height box is checked and you will be ready to write your waypoint to your drone by simply clicking write waypoints save the waypoint file just anywhere in your files usually I like to name it after the field's name so let's say uh, I don't know T13 or whatever go ahead and, and write your waypoints to your drone and then you're done you can then just check if your drone really has them press read waypoints and press ok this will tell you what the drone has in its flight plan here you are. Happy surveying.